What's up YouTube? I want to give you guys a little update on my uh, 2008 Ford F350. Used to be a 6.4, now has a Cummins in it. Um, do a little update with the 6.4, so you guys are kind of working with and what we're waiting on. Uh, the biggest hang up that I have is obviously you see whole thing sanded. I know what paint color I want, I know where to get it, and I know where to order it, but I'm hung up on the bed. Uh, it's seen better days, you can say. When I got it, it had fender flares over it, and I already knew, because I, I knew the previous owner, I knew that there was some rust issues, but I don't know who fixed it, but it was a poor job, and it didn't last at all. Uh, for one, I don't even, these were, this was the cab corner. Um, no, this was like the rocker maybe, I don't know. This, this was the cab corner. And they legit just bonded it and then painted it. And uh, as you saw before, it was getting bubbly. So cut that out. Here's the new piece. I actually, I actually have two cab corners. Here's the one I bought originally, and that was all cut, fit, ready to go. But when you dug into this, it was fairly rusty. So, uh, and honestly, I'd probably just recommend doing this from the start. You can buy, see, I thought that the rocker panel uh, would, I guess I thought it would be different. I've seen different on different on other vehicles. Um, but you can get the cab corner that integrates to the bottom of the rocker that runs and clips into that piece. And uh, so some of this has this has cut off of there were it's bigger. Basically, there's a square on the cutout cutout part that matches that, so it tucks under. But I'll just weld it at the seam. Um, that's good enough for me. So this is going to be the cab corner and the end of the rocker here. And probably what I'm going to do is that I'm cutting out probably like a five inch strip all the way down the inner, and then getting. Um, it's getting a five inch strip of just steel with no holes because there's holes through it all the way down and then they fill up because all this is just full of like crap and uh so i'm gonna cut that all the way down just make it solid so that nothing can get in there and then kind of the same thing on the other side i'll come back to the bags that's kind of the main main topic of what i want to do here uh same sort of cat corner deal i have a new one in that box uh, somebody's needed one for one of these trucks and I got one because I'm not going to use it so but sort of same deal over here it's all cut out ready to go and then I'm going to end up cutting this part has some of the some of the inner rocker taken out I'm going to end up doing the same thing just ripping it all the way down and then putting in a piece um, I don't know what happened to that bondo spot I don't know if it was a dent or someone just hit it and they just filled it and painted it I don't really know either way it's uh, neither here nor nor there, because uh, we're just going to, we bonded it and painted it. So, uh, moving to the bed, now, the weld is in the way over here, but this is the issue. I'm getting a lot of these little, little rust holes coming through, and it's like super wet in there. And I don't know where it's coming from, because that was sanded pretty good, and pretty much just down to bare metal. So, if this is just always going to come through, I'm, I'm holding off on paint until I figure out, figure out this issue because I don't want to paint this and then just have rust come through anyway I'm looking for a new tailgate because this thing's fairly whooped um, if you look down it there's a good dent here and then there's a good dent on the other end that kind of tips all flared out up here is okay I mean the plastics cover that so that's not a big deal uh, I just need to get a, I just need to re-glue a badge really I have the badge somewhere I just need to clean up this, probably paint it, and then glue it and stick that badge on there. But, coming back to this side, this is all gone. This is actually spray foam. And then, I filled it, we taped it, and then pulled tape off and sanded it down nice and smooth. Um, had to go over a couple spots, probably just Bondo layer, and then fill all that. But this is all Bondo. And, I mean, this whole panel is not in great shape. I mean, the bed itself isn't in great shape. I just ordered uh, cross members because these are, this rear one's okay. A lot of times you'll see, not that I have a light on me to show you, which I'm kind of screwing you guys, but these little pedestals, when they get really worn, they'll uh, they'll warp and the, oh, they'll, they'll look squished. 
And uh, actually, I can show you on this bed here that we're replacing. See you know, those up there are squished. Mine are still, uh, mine are still all flat and pretty solid. Um, but either way, up front, uh, there's holes in that one. Let's see. All I have is my inspection light on me because uh, it's a little better now. That's a hole. Um, moving down, looks okay. Giant hole on that end. Uh, this whole thing, that's a big hole. Over there has a hole in it. So, I don't know. You can't really see this one too good because I got blocks on it. But I have a whole new crossover kit coming. So, I'll end up flipping this thing over it somehow and putting uh, cross members in it. Um, but I need to figure out what to do here because, I mean, this needs to get sanded down again. I mean, there's just wet rust bubbles coming through. And I don't need to put a new paint job on this bed and then ruin it. Besides that, the rest of the bed is okay. I mean, the deck's okay. It's all been, um, it's been coated with whatever. I don't know if there's Linex, but some sort of bed liner. Um, I'm considering ripping it up just because I cut it in a few places. Um, when I was getting these bolts out, because they just went over the bolts and it was like a really it was a good um coating i'd rather have like a like a harder more like plastic textured one um this was more of a rubber which is fine but it's uh it's uh when you cut it or if it gets cut it'll peel and then it'll collect water under there there was a couple spots like that and but all the bolts were sprayed so they were all super hard to get out um so i, I literally took a grinder and just cut the heads off um and then pop the bed out but so i just here, here's what i'm thinking it's a crew cab short bed single rear wheel i'm thinking about getting the because i can get um i forget what company has them but they make uh short bed dually fenders and i want the ones for the 11 to 16 trucks I don't know why I just I just like that dually um, fender the best. I just it just looks good to me. Um, I can find the short bed conversion ones for this side that has it running for the gas tank that has the notch out for it. I'm considering putting those on there and then finding some dually hubs and converting my single rear wheel axle. That way I keep all my gear ratio. I keep everything the same. It just has um the hubs for duels so i can have the spacing correct and all that so that's what i'm thinking because if i get those dually fenders i can cut out that whole wheel arch get rid of all the root of all my issues and then just move on from it so that is that is heavily what i'm considering right now because one i like duallys so i don't know there's something about them i like them and two it resolves my issues I don't like fender flares on single rear wheel trucks. I just don't. Um, I, if there's poke, I'd rather see the poke. I don't really, I don't know. There's some that I like. Um, actually, Dodge makes good ones, like the factory ones that are just barely. They're just kind of like a lip. Um, they're not big like the Bushwhackers. Not a fan of those styles. So I'm thinking I'm going to go dually with this thing. And uh, that'll fix a lot of my bed problems. And then with new cross members, this thing should be, should be fairly solid again. Um, now next thing I'm considering is bumpers, uh, what to do because his back bumper is pretty, I mean, a huge dent there. I don't really care about it that much. Um, I don't know, maybe making one, but up front I've gone back and forth on what kind of bumper I want thinking I, there was a time where I wanted to just get, find another one of these, um, just cause it has its damage over there. I was thinking find another one of these bumpers and then painting it in the new color or just leaving it black maybe i don't know and then uh or finding a 2017 plus bumper from the Illuma duties throwing that on there i've seen those they look pretty good to me or getting something crazy like a uh like a like a ranch hand with the bumper and then the fence coming up i like those too i don't know a lot of different directions we can go with this um kind of leave me your thoughts and reasons why or pictures would be awesome I can see examples of it. Um, I don't know if anybody's ever done that with this model truck. I've never seen one personally. So I don't know, we'll, we'll go from there. But I wanted to give you guys a little update um, on the state of this truck, 
because it's pretty much all I think about. I just don't really have the the money or time as I am extremely busy with uh, customers vehicles right now. I just need to get that done and get it everything done for the winter so I can just focus on my own stuff for a few months and then pick up customer stuff back in the spring probably and uh, go from there. But it's just a little update video on this truck. Uh, eventually this thing's gonna be beautiful. It's just not right now. So anyway, have a good have a good day guys. Um, and I don't know. Come back for more and hopefully we'll get some cool stuff going.